Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a holiday makeup tutorial for you. I decided to go with purple because, you know, it's different and it also just so happens to be my favorite color. Uh, of course, I'm going to start off by concealing my eyelid to prep it for the eyeshadow. I'm going to set that concealer with this flower powder from Beauty Bakery. I don't usually set my eyelids with setting powder, but I'm in this video I'm going to be trying some stuff that I don't usually do too often, and it actually worked pretty well. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to dust off what I just put on my eyelid. Next up, I'm going to go in with this palette from BH Cosmetics. I forget the exact title of it, but it's all matte colors. Um, pretty much every color you can think of is in this palette. Yes, and I am going to start off with a this light pink color I will point out to you right now. <laughs> Uh, apparently I want to show it off to you guys so much. <laughs> so yeah, that light pink one I'm going to use as a transition shade. Since I'm using purple, it's you can't just go right in with the purple. you got to start off light and work your way up to a, a deeper shade. Next, I'm going to go in with that uh, light coral-like color <laughs> uh, just to brighten up the crease a little more. In the moment we've all been waiting for, the purple. I'm gonna use it with that uh, more uh, dense Morphe brush. And I'm gonna start with patting motions because with a color this vibrant, you can't just brush it right on. You have to pat it on because otherwise it's gonna be very patchy. Unfortunately, this color turned out to be kind of patchy anyways, but I made it do what it do. <laughs> And yeah, you just gotta keep patting on that color just so you don't lose any of the pigmentation. I'm going to use this Tarte Shape Tape to kind of do a little cut crease action. Um, before I put this concealer on, I think you noticed I had some shimmer on my eyelid. It's because I had forgotten to put the concealer on. Since I put a matte shadow all over my lid, you can't just go in with a shimmer on it because it wasn't going to show up at all. So this concealer is going to help my shimmer shade come out a lot more pigmented. And yeah, I'm just building up that concealer. I'm going to do that to both eyes and then I'm going to let it dry for like a minute or two just to get it tacky. That way the shimmer shade shows up well and also to prevent it from being all crumbly and we don't want any fallout either. So applying this concealer will help the shimmer shade stick to it. Concealer basically doubles as a glue. I'm going to go in with that Rainforest of the Sea palette from Tarte, and on my eyelid I'm going to apply the shade Heat Wave to my lid.
prep my skin for the foundation, I'm gonna go with that primer that I have from Benefit Cosmetics, the Professional. And I'm going to use this Laws of Nature foundation, which I absolutely love. Sucks I'm almost running out of it. <laughs> when I bought it, this was the biggest size that they had, but they have now expanded their sizes. So gotta look into getting some more. Love the way it blended out with the, that mented foundation brush that I'm using in this video. And I ended up adding another layer just because it's definitely a buildable foundation and I felt like I didn't have enough coverage at first, but now I feel like I do. Like I was saying earlier, this color turned out to be pretty patchy. So that's just me kind of going back in and filling in the patchiness that was going on. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna be going back in with that Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to be using that to conceal my under eye and my forehead, get rid of those dark circles, as well as add some brightening. gonna go in with my beauty blender to blend all of that out <laughs> and it just so happens to be purple yay <laughs> next I'm gonna go in with this beauty bakery powder I use this to uh, set my eyelid earlier in this video. I'm going to use this to set my concealer as well as also contributing to the brightness. I don't usually bake, so <laughs> I'm. it's one of those things I kind of have a love-hate relationship with, but I'm trying to like it more. And spoiler alert, <laughs> I actually did like the result of how this powder turned out. So I might do this more often after all. I just felt like uh, baking kind of dried me out a little, but this one didn't really. And like I was saying before, I kept noticing patchiness, so throughout the video you might see me reapplying. It's no big deal. I really liked the color, so it's not like it bothered me or anything. I can just fill the color right back in. Next up, I'm going to do my best to tame these bushy brows <laughs> using a spoolie. And I didn't show you on camera, but I'm just using my brow bar palette. I use it pretty much in, in pretty much every video, so I will link that down below. Or you can watch a previous video because I usually show it in that. Um, but yeah, I use pretty much the same brow palette in most of my videos. Gonna go back in with that purple shade using a pencil brush to apply that to my lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Compass. I'm going back in with that Rainforest of the Sea palette from Tarte. I'm gonna put that in my inner tear duct and I used some water to make the color pop a little more. Next up, I'm gonna go in with this Oma Beauty uh, contour stick. I'm just gonna carve out my cheekbones and using a Real Techniques brush to blend that all out. Gonna go in with this e.l.f. brush. I'm gonna dust away that uh, setting powder I had on for a while. Like I said, I was really pleased with the result. Next up, I'm gonna go in with this uh, Contourzition palette from the Crayon Case, using it to bronze my face up. And going back in with that e.l.f. brush, I'm just 
kind of erasing all the harshness that was happening on the face. Going in with my favorite blush ever from Mented Cosmetics. Peach is the perfect blush shade for me. I cannot get over it. Um, I think I put a little too much on, so you could kind of see me kind of dulling it down, but I think I dulled it down a little too much, so I ended up going back in with that um, blush anyways. I don't think I added any additional product, though. I just used the brush to uh, buff it on. And then, as you can see, I went back in with one of those shimmer shades to put on my brow bone. Next up, I'm going to go in with this Oma Cleopatra Ink Eyeliner. I usually... <laughs> Sometimes I do film myself doing eyeliner and other times I don't just because it can be a struggle, not gonna lie, but I think I did all right in this video, which is why I'm showing you. I'm gonna go in with these Eyler Wispy Light Lashes. <laughs> it's funny how I just mentioned about the eyeliner being a struggle. The lashes actually were a struggle, which is why I did not film myself doing them. Um, but right now I'm just gonna put this Big Ego uh, Mascara from Tarte on my lower lash line. I already mascaraed my top lids to blend in with my falsies. And I ended up getting some mascara under my eye. I should have uh, did this while I had the powder on my face still, that way I could have dusted it away, but it's all good. It didn't really leave as big of a smudge, and I was still very pleased with the result. And I'm also going to go in with this Milani lipstick, and I'm going to top it off with my Fenty lip gloss. And then I'm gonna go in with this pretty vulgar highlight. Gonna put that on my cheeks and my nose and my cupid's bow. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for today's video. Please have a happy holiday and be safe. Bye.